We are again in section 6.2, the characteristic polynomial of the textbook, linear algebra done openly. And what I want to do is take a look at, um, I want to find the eigenvalues of a square matrix. It's two by two, so it's not so bad. And we're going to find the eigenvalues using the characteristic polynomial. Remember, the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of the matrix A minus lambda I, or if you prefer, you could take the determinant of lambda I minus A. Doesn't make much of a difference there. Just It's just a matter of uh, preference at that situation. And so we're going to calculate the determinant of A minus lambda I. So we're just going to subtract lambdas from the diagonal entries, and we compute that. As it's just a two by two determinant, uh, we'll take the product minus the product there, the diagonals. And so you get two minus lambda, multiply that by negative six minus lambda, and then we're gonna subtract from that three times three. And so we are gonna to have to FOIL uh, these first things out first, outside, inside, last. And so if you look at all those possible combinations, you end up with negative 12 minus two lambda uh, plus six lambda plus lambda squared. And then you also get that minus nine there, three times three. Uh, so combining some like terms, we get a lambda squared. In terms of the lambdas, we're gonna get a four lambda. And then in the end, we end up with negative 21 as our characteristic polynomial. Now, the main reason we're looking for the characteristic polynomial is we desire to factor it. If we factor the characteristic polynomial, the eigenvalues are the roots of that polynomial. So we wanna look for factors of our constant term, because notice the leading coefficient there is a one. We wanna look for factors of the constant term, negative 21, which add up to be positive four. And we can accomplish this by doing, let's say seven minus three. Seven minus three is four, and then it multiplies to give us negative 21. And so then this would factor as lambda plus seven and lambda minus three. And so if we set the characteristic polynomial equal to zero, we can set each of these factors equal to zero. Lambda plus seven equals zero would imply that lambda equals negative seven. And then lambda minus three equals zero would imply that lambda equals three. And so there we have it. We have the, 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 the two eigenvalues uh, for this matrix. They both have algebraic multiplicity of one, and which, which forces the geometric multiplicity to likewise be one. Um, and so if we wanted to calculate the eigenvectors associated to these eigenvalues, we could then calculate their eigenspaces using the techniques we've talked about before. All right, and so for two by two matrices, this is typically how this calculation is gonna go. Um, stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna show you where there is a potential anomaly that can happen uh, that kind of justifies why we've cared about complex numbers so far this semester. Uh, I'll see you then.